Hey brothers and sisters, this is Andre Battles with I Battle Daily Ministries. I know you guys just saw me a few hours ago. I was on uh, live talking about love and relationships. I have something else I want to bring to your attention. What you see right here is my letter from the Social Security Office. Some of you know, if you did not know, I'm going to share with you now that I lost my leg back in September of last year. It was due to my own foolishness, okay brothers and sisters? So I'm not bitter. I'm not angry at the Lord. I'm not mad at anyone. If there's anybody to be mad with, it would be myself. But praise God, I have learned to submit myself to God. This issue of, who, of having lost my leg has been the, my greatest blessing. And I say that to you and I say that to anyone. I got this letter in the mail today. Now, obviously, it came either Friday or on Saturday. I didn't check the mail at any time. And I just went and checked it. And brothers and sisters, I have been denied Social Security benefits. Now, many of you know, some of you, that I have been living off blessings that brothers and sisters like yourselves have given me. What am I prepared to do, brothers and sisters? I'm prepared to go to work. I got a leg. So by God's grace, whatever labor he puts in front of me, whatever it is that he has for me to do, I'm going to do it faithfully. And I'm going to do it with all my might and all my mind because I'm working for the Lord. I'm not working for man. So brothers and sisters, why am I sharing this? I want to encourage someone. You can have a smile on your face even when you get negative news. You can have a smile on your face even when things don't go the way that you desire for them to go. Why? Because your trust and faith is not in man. It's not in the Social Security office. It's not in the U.S. government. Your trust and faith is in who? The Lord. So praise God that they denied me. There's a testimony in this. There's going to be victories won because of this. Someone's going to testify because of this story. And it won't just be me, but it's going to be you. It's going to be someone else. It's going to be one of your friends, one of your family members, because you're going to see how God's going to work in my life and it'll give you courage to know that he can work in yours. Brothers and sisters, every difficulty is a call to prayer. Every difficulty. And I am meaning that sincerely. Every time we find ourselves in the midst of a rock and a hard place, whether it's financial problems, whether it's marital problems, whether it's problems with our children, that is an opportunity to pray. It's not an opportunity to be despondent and to be lacking courage and to be lacking faith. That's not the time to do that. The time now is a time to activate our faith in Jesus. Okay, so what? The world may deny you. So what? They might not give you what you feel that you need or even deserve. God knows what you need. God knows what Andre Lafayne Battles needs. He knows what we all need, and he'll give it to us. Right now, in the time that we're living in, God is looking for a complete and total dependence on him. He's not asking you to be dependent upon your job. He's not asking for you to be dependent upon your abilities in which to work, your education, your degree. He's asking for your dependence on him. And then through that, what he will do is great and mighty things. Only if we trust only if we believe. I'm about to pray with somebody because somebody needs prayer. Father God in heaven, we are thankful that you've given us the ability this evening in which to praise and to thank you even in the midst of our storm. We're thankful, Father God, that you do not cast us away even when man may cast us down. Even when man may deny us, you say yes with you. You say your credit area and your credit bank is full and that you will not deny us that loan. You will not deny us the opportunity to come to you and to receive from you what we need. Lord, we praise your mighty name. We lift up your name upon high. We do not come to you despondent. We have no reason to be despondent. We have every reason, dear Lord, to praise your name and to give you glory for the things that you have done, the things that you are doing, and the things that you will do. Father God, it is not by might, nor by power, but by your very spirit that things happen on this earth. It is not the things that we see. It is not the difficulties. It is not the, even the Red Sea that can stop us because, Lord, when you say move forward, you will part the Red Sea of difficulty. You will show us great and mighty things that we knew not. And, Father God, we are thankful. We are thankful this evening that you are going to move in our lives. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is Andre Battles with I Battle Daily Ministries. Be encouraged. God has something for you. Be blessed.